This video will show you how to solve the Rubik's Cube by solving the edges first and then the corners, as opposed to solving the corners first, which is a more popular method. So the first step is to solve five edges in a sort of pseudo block. You want to solve edges here, 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 and here to make a sort of two by two by three block. So I'll do that right now, just quickly, to show you what it will look like when it's finished. very good at this yet because I have not practiced this method. And that's what it will look like when it's done with these five edges solved. After you solve those five edges, you want to eliminate any bad edges um, on these two faces. This is similar to the Petrus method where you have to uh, use a simple mini algorithm to fix the orientation of pairs of edges. So I see two right here that need to be fixed. So I'm just going to do that. See, they're fixed now. This one's bad, and uh, that one's bad. So I'm going to do, let's see here, just do that, and there. So now all of the orientations of these pieces are solved so that they can all be matched up correctly like that. The next thing you want to do is solve these two edges and these two edges. So I've already got these two in the correct place here. Um, these two I'm going to have to put them together correctly and then put them into place. And like the Petrus method, uh, to do that you can only turn these two faces. Next you want to solve either this edge or this edge. Now you can only turn um, these two faces uh, 90 degrees or, um, in alternating order. Um, this is actually the algorithm Fry Fry. Little did you know. Okay, and now this edge is solved. And as you can see, we have a parity case where these two need to be swapped. And I found, actually, the Cube Explorer has found a very short and simple algorithm to fix that. Um, it goes, well, usually I'm used to it being on this side, but it's R counter, U2, R counter, U2, R counter, U2, R2, U2. So now all of the edges are solved. And now we solve the corners. First, you want to solve four corners on one side. Um, you first pick a corner that you want to solve. So we'll do this one. Then you make sure it's under its appropriate slot right here. And then you do one of two simple algorithms to solve it. So there, I've solved its position and orientation. We'll do this one next. We'll put it under its slot right here. And there, it's solved. Next one. And the last one, right here. And there, we solved the four corners. The last thing you want to do is solve the other four corners on the other side. So as you can see, we still have our edges solved here. And you can use two algorithms to solve the last four corners. I mean, you learn two algorithms. You will have to use them more than once, though, most likely. But luckily, I do not have to. And there. After I've done that, the cube's solved. And that's it.